Hey guys, Yelkap Alex here, and welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a while, I've just had a bunch of stuff to do, so yeah. And also, I don't really know what I want to work on, so that's kind of a big problem. But I do know what I want to work on right now for this video, and that is talk about, you know, talk about some unanswered questions. Well, currently unanswered questions at the time of recording this video about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, Again, all of this could probably change. I'm actually I'm pretty sure all of these will change. So, yeah. So, uh, I, have, I have a list of some of the questions people have been wondering ever since the Smash Direct. Because we all know the Smash Direct didn't cover everything. We, don't, we still don't know everything about the Direct. So there's still massive chunks of the game we do not know. Such as online. Uh, we don't really know how online we know for a fact online is gonna be in the game We saw it in the menu and I'm pretty sure like some there's some warning label. that says just Blah 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 is required for online play blah 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 something like that It's just that we don't know how it's gonna be set up. Will will it will will the for fun for glory thing stay? Will it be renamed will maybe maybe the brawl setup will come back uh, And stuff like that and also, I'm wondering. I re I'm wondering if maybe they'll they'll go to Splatoon 2 route and have like the Switch Online service as a as like a, as a voice chat in the game, as like a synced up voice chat. So like how in Splatoon 2, if you use the online lounge lobby, then like not only will like you you do the voice chat, but also like it will change. Like for example. Like, it, for example, like it will, it will like in a match, it will, it will only let you speak with those who are together, or like are you with your teammates and not instead of everyone. So, yeah. So I'm really wondering if, uh, if perhaps maybe, just maybe, uh, we, we just don't know, and and we don't even know whether or not um, online tourneys. Could be could be there now there's probably very likely since of uh, since why why would what else would you name your tournament i mean i guess really the only reason why you would be able to name your tournament other than online would be like maybe the game keeps a record of all the tournaments you've done then again wouldn't that fill up like how would that work and speaking of which that'd probably go in uh, if the game did it did keep a record of all of your um tournaments then that'd probably be in the games and more section, which has a lot of mysteries. We know the games and more section is, I don't know, not the games and more, oh my god, Vault, Vault, not games and more. I keep thinking Smash 4 because Smash 4 had Vault in games and more. But the Vault, uh, um, I mean, there's basically we don't know anything about the Vault. I mean, at least with games and more, we know about the single player, we know about classic mode. Uh, so then the Vault, like. We don't really know. I mean, will masterpieces return? Will I mean? We're pretty sure that the sound effects will return. Like the whole like the sound effect menu. We know that. Uh, we we don't like we don't know if master masterpieces will return. We don't even know if trophies return. Like that's insane. Like and, and something that should feel really weird. I I I would like when I was going to the direct. I had a feeling maybe like they would give. Like they would show off trophies, like not assist trophy, just normal trophies, like collectible, like those collectible ones. Um, and the thing is, in my brain, after they show like, uh, like you know, all the fighters, and then tell like the stage list and then the song list, I was thinking maybe they'd go on the section with trophies and then show off the total, like the, the trophy list. But surprisingly, they didn't. I thought they would do that, have like, blah blah blah, like a thousand trophies. At this point, actually, in hindsight, I just realized that probably is going to be the case. Well, at least like 900 trophies. Uh, so, personally, I, I don't really know, like, what, like, like what the trophy, like, we don't, like, we don't even know the trophy number. We don't even know what they look like. So, we don't even know, like, the HUD or anything. So, that's another big mystery. And, uh, yeah. And, uh... Speaking of which, uh, let's go into modes. Back in the games more, we go into modes. Uh, we're pr I'm pretty darn sure that All Star mode is going to return, since so that's been a staple since Melee. So I'm pretty darn sure it's going to be returning. And then I think events will return most likely, very likely, uh, because the only reason why I didn't it's not in Smash 3DS was because the hardware limitations and. Uh, 
And then, uh, as for Stadium, I'm pretty darn sure Multi-Man Smash coming out, coming back. Uh, and same thing goes for uh, Home Run Contest. As for the Target Blast slash Break the Targets, we really don't know. I mean, maybe they'll stick with Target Blast. Maybe they, maybe they'll just go go back to Break the Targets. We really don't know. And if it does go back to Break the Targets, will it be like everyone shares five stages, like Brawl, or every character gets their own stage, like sixty four in Melee? Like we don't, we don't really know. Or maybe every, or maybe I have a, I have a feeling that maybe if we go back to break the targets, like then they'll go, they'll expand on the brawl setup, like have every character share stages, but like instead of five, it's like twenty five or fifty or something like that, you know, just to have more variety, because that, because the problem was that of course, like the problem with like the press thing is that there wasn't much variety in doing it. And it got tedious with the challenges. And speaking of challenges, we don't even know what the challenge list looks like. In Brawl, it was sort of like a panorama. It was sort of like a panorama. No, not the name. The, um, what's the freaking name of the, what's the name of the, um, of the white shots? Uh, I can't remember. Those like, those like white shots with like, um, di like those diagram looking things. Uh, it looked like one of those, and then Smash Wii and 3DS, it's just a wall. Well, actually, in, in 3DS, it's three separate walls, but Smash Wii U is just one giant wall, which definitely put, set the tone for Smash Wii U, absolutely. So I think they might expand on the Smash Wii U idea. Well, heck, they may even go for, like, I don't know, maybe they'll go for, like, how a bunch of other games are doing it, and where the challenge, instead of the, ch the big old list, it's, like, instead, say, like, a bunch... Like, like 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 a top down list and then more open up and maybe in the future we could even get more as dlc that way that way we can get more as dlc in the future uh i'm really just throwing i'm just really just throwing ideas uh yeah and then as for trophies we go on from trophies to assist trophies now there's been a lot of talk about possibly uh now after now after little mac and smash 4 and dark samus and ultimate there's been a lot of talk about possibly other assist trophies in the past becoming full-fledged characters or at least Echo Fighters. Um, I know a lot of people are throwing out Isabelle. I don't. I don't really see Isabelle as an Echo Fighter. I know there's a leak for for Isabelle, and it actually looks pretty. I, I know there, there was a leak, but I, I I think and it actually looks kind of promising. So may so I don't really know. Like I I don't really see Isabelle because. It's about just too adorable to be wielding an axe as a serial killer. Like she can't be a serial killer; she'll get arrested. And then, and then that that way, Big Smoke can take his place. I'm not sorry for that joke, by the way. So personally, I don't, I don't, I don't really think Isabel is gonna be an Echo Fighter. I think she'll just stand as an assist trophy. She might even get caught. Maybe I don't know. I actually liked Isabel as an assist trophy. I thought she was nice. As for another big, big, big plot hole, uh, thing, well, the thing is, people people are thinking that Isabel's gonna be gonna be gonna turn into an Echo Fighter because we have Cap'n as an assist trophy. Just because we have another franchise assist trophy and we haven't seen the previous franchise assist trophy doesn't mean that the previous one's gone. It it, it might just mean it, it. I mean, it doesn't completely confirm it. I mean, it might, but it might not. So don't make these stupid assumptions, because that's how that's how that's how you that's how you that's how you lose your expectations. That's how you set your expectations too high. A uh, good example of after the Cap'n and Isabel thing, also the thing with um, Shadow, because a lot of people are thinking that Shadow's gonna be an Echo Fighter Sonic, and then because Knuckles is is, is Sonic assist trophy. Knuckles hasn't been confirmed to replace Shadow, so. No, just because Knuckles is an assist trophy doesn't mean Shadow's gonna be an assist trophy. Is confirmed. Like, in fact, I have a theory. In fact, I have my own feeling. I have I have a theory that maybe they're gonna also gonna keep Shadow as an assist trophy, and then have Metal Sonic as the Sonic Echo Fighter. Because then you get the best of both worlds. You get the people who want Shadow as an assist trophy, and then the people who want a Sonic Echo Fighter. Best of both worlds. And then, yeah, and, and before you complain about, oh, but Metal Sonic's not an assist trophy, he still has a model in Smash 4. Just because the model doesn't move in Smash 4 doesn't mean you can't animate it. It's, it, it's easy. I mean, uh, pe Brawl hackers have done it, for Christ's sakes. And 
So I think Metal Sonic's just as likely, possibly more, possibly a tiny bit more than Shadow as an, as an echo of Sonic. And for Smile Smash, maybe he can like shoot a giant laser beam out of his chest, like Samus' Final Smash or something. That's my best guess. But yeah, and I know there's some other characters, like uh, people want uh, Saki from Sin and Punishment, since you haven't seen that assist trophy, and uh, yeah. So, and there's also some other characters I'm probably leaving out there, leaving out of, I'm trying to remember the top of my head. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, in, in hindsight, I realize I probably just forgot one. Oh, oh yeah, Skull Kid. Uh, people are just saying that Skull Kid is gonna be is gonna be promoted because like uh, in the background of Sakurai during the direct, there was like there was the two chairs which and the two chairs in the couch. People were saying, well, Lax um, said that Tattle and Tail are the chairs, and then the couch is Skull Kid. Well, first off, that's not really, that, that could just be a coincidence. And second of all, there's no representation for the mask. Sakurai is wearing a black shirt. Do you think, you think that with this teasing, he'd wear like a blue shirt or something. He'd wear like a blue shirt with a bunch of weird symbols on it or whatever. Or maybe the books, maybe the bookshelf would be blue with a bunch of different colors. But no, that's not the case, so... Yeah, I, I'm again. That doesn't completely confirm, and the theory doesn't isn't completely true yet. We we really don't know, and again, that's an unanswered question. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. I really want to get more content. I really want to do a live stream soon. So yeah, I know I've been saying that for like months now, basically like the entire summer. But still, I really want to do. I'm get back to doing live streams. And last but not least, why is Shovel Knight an assist trophy and not a playable character? Please tell me that that the Switch news out Switch news section is going to give us an interview, and one of the questions is going to be, why is Shovel Knight not an assist trophy? And Jesus! And before you all say that you should be glad Shovel Knight is is in a, is is in the game regardless there's already been indie representation there was a runbow trophy in smash 4 and i think there was like one or two other indie reps i could be wrong I, I, i'm probably wrong actually but still it's not like indie reps is possible in fact shovel knight as an assist trophy is a bad sign because then maybe sakura might not think as uh, indies are viable which means that some other indie characters that a lot of people have been wanting are are, are just off the face, Shantae, uh, quote from Case Story. Those those guys, they're they're they might be dead now. So before you say that it's it's not a bad thing, how about you say that to my face?